Hello and welcome. I'm Siobhan Sarna, founder of SIBO SOS and Chronic Condition Rescue. It is a pleasure to have you here today. We're going to get right to it with the incredible Dr. Christine Schaffner. She is not only a personal friend of mine, I'm so pleased and proud and happy to be able to say that about her. I truly adore this woman. But she's also, before she was friends with me and I was friends with her, she was my doctor. She has been on my summits before. I have been so impressed with everything she's done in terms of producing her summits as well. She's really making a mark and a difference in creating um, a large awareness around the world for biological medicine. It has a couple of different names. She'll go over that with you. Today, we're gonna be talking about the lymphatic system as well as some things you can do, right, to really transform your health through that lymphatic system. I did the Lymphatic Rescue Summit. Many of you know me from that. And one of the reasons I did that is because my mother had lymphoma. And in the 90s, when she had lymphoma, when she said to me, Siobhan, I have lymphoma, tragic, terrible. She, I was like, what, you have a sore throat? Because really no one knew what the lymphatic system was. And mom and I had been into health food since I was 14 years old, like pr literally before I had a car. And so one of my missions in this work of other than teaching people about gut health and connecting people with experts and all biological dentistry and all that is like a dream I had was to talk about the lymphatic system because I knew it was a horizon that needed to be um, explored. So in October coming up 24th, we have the fascia and chronic pain rescue summit. Now, if anyone's ever come to this recent training that Dr. Schaffner and I did on the lymph, Last time or time before, time before. We talked time before, we talked about this fascia summit. And I was like, I don't want to do it. I should do it. I don't want to do it. I should do it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and so you saw the genesis of that. Kelly Kennedy was like, come on, Siobhan, let's do it. Christine's, come on, let's do it. So it's done. It has been incredible. That's happening October 24th. And Clarissa, who's with me behind the scenes here, will pop the information for you on there. So that's going to be really interesting for you. And especially if you're into lymph. That being said, I want to hand things over to Dr. Schaffner. She's a beautiful presentation for us. And thank you, Christine, who, by the way, in certain states does do telemedicine consultation, not all states, but in a lot of them. And mm -hmm. she also has a beautiful store called Apothecary IP. We'll give you the link. And um, that's a way you can get some really special formulations. And we'll talk about a few of those later. Uh, her practice is called Eminence Health. And uh, she's out of the Seattle area. Thanks, Dr. Schaffner. Oh, thank you so much, Siobhan. This is a highlight of my day and, of course, year doing these presentations for your community and with you. And um, I just want to applaud you and all of the awareness you've brought to a lot of these niche topics that in the treatment room we educate a ton about, but they still we still have a lot of work to get the world to wake up to the knowledge that we all have um, our, in our heart and in our brains. And so I'm just so excited to share this with your community. So the gods are with us. We're going to totally get everything. Um, can you see my slides? Yep. There we go. Perfect. Yep. All right. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> and I can even use the, you know, the forward, you know, little arrow there. Okay. So we're going to be talking about solutions for your lymphatic system. And what we'll cover, we'll cover an overview of your lymphatic system. It's amazing how our knowledge continues to evolve. So every time I do these lectures or have the opportunity to share information um, with my community or in summits, my knowledge is always deepening as I sit with patients every week and also as I try to stay abreast to the knowledge out there. And as I connect with other experts in um, my community, I try to continue to evolve and deepen my understanding. So I'll hopefully share some new insights um, along the way, um, if you've heard me talk with Siobhan before. And then also we're going to be talking about some things that you can do in your um, daily routine that you can improve your lymphatic system. I also created a course to make this information very accessible and digestible. We'll be walking through that. And then I'm gonna highlight the glymphatic system, which is part of the overall lymphatic system, as well as some products that I um, co-created and created on my own to help um, more and more people that I can't 
just see in my um, everyday routine of seeing patients, I try to create products that are going to help more people than the um, lives that I can change within my clinic. So that's going to be our overview. Does that sound good? And then we'll have time for questions. Sounds great. Alrighty. So as a nod to the upcoming uh, Fascia Summit, I just wanted to share this um, deeper insight that I'm continuing to digest. And so this picture that you see is actually a picture of living fascia. So when we are in medical school, we do something called gross lab, where we um, are really honored to dissect um, dead bodies to understand anatomy. And part of that exploration is we you know, we cut and we do that with a lot of um, reverence, but we cut open the body and the fascia is really that first layer that we cut. And we don't, we don't even think twice. We just think, oh, it's the saran wrap of the body. It just is structural, doesn't have a lot of issues. Sit with Siobhan and Kelly for a week and you'll have a whole other understanding. But the the place where I'm tuning in more and more is this picture uh, through the work of Dr. Jean-Claude Goumberto. And he is a French hand surgeon. He's retired, but he has on YouTube and he has a wonderful book that I um, read during some time off the summer, cover to cover, about living fascia. So he did surgeries within the human body live with a camera. And living fascia looks very different than fascia after a person has left their body. And that that is what happens in medicine. That's why we newly discovered the lymphatic system, because you have to learn about these things with the technology that continues to improve over the time, plus in a living system rather in a um, system that is no longer alive. So isn't this beautiful? I mean, I just sit and I just like, oh my God, that's within us. And when we understand the fascia, you understand many things about the body and life, but I want to just presence that the fascia is this interconnected fabric that not only holds us, but communicates and connects us. And the lymphatic system is within this fascial network. So I just want to give a nod to, you know, the summit that um, Siobhan and Kelly are doing, if you want to deepen your insight and then just kind of uh, foreshadow a little bit that summit and say that, you know, the fascia, and when we talk about all these terms, you're going to hear me talk about the exercise matrix today, the lymphatic system, all of this. And there's a lot of anatomical terms that we try to define the space within the body that we're honestly still uncovering and discovering. But I know, and I know in my bones that this is a very important part of health. And this is a key part of where um, disease starts and disease resolves. And so um, I just wanna share that. And I don't love reading things, but I'm just gonna, um, honor Dr. Jean-Claude, I'll just, Dr. G, we'll call him, right? Um, and his um, upgraded definition of fascia. And he talks about fascia is the tensional continuous fibrillar network within the body, extending from the surface of the skin to the nucleus of the cell. The global network is mobile, adaptable, fractal, fractal and regular. It constitutes the basic structural and architecture of the human body. The, the beauty lies in this idea of the surface of the skin to the nucleus of the cell. There is no space. We are highly interconnected beings with this fascial fabric. So just any anything to share, Siobhan? I know you did a many, no, many. It's beautiful. One of the things that I loved about the terminology you said is about how it's like a fabric through the body. It's mm -hmm. like somebody on the summit described it as a fishnet stocking running through the body so mm -hmm. a super conductive informational highway and mm -hmm. the lymph as your headline says is within the fascia so also a huge takeaway was how in involved the fascia was with the immune system yes so yes there's so, like all kinds of great science coming out about that that's awesome so october 24th right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be talking about the lymphatic system, but just hold that 
awareness that the lymph is within the fascia as we're talking about these things. So I always start with this slide to give a high level overview of that our lymphatic system is tied into our circulatory system. I see patients every day and I was seeing a patient today before this talk and we were highlighting, she talked a lot about her lymphatic congestion, especially in her head. And what I came up with today was really we had to um, treat and explore more of her vascular inflammation and her coagulation because our circulation is very tied into our lymphatic system. So here's just a diagram to show that um, there's an interrelationship between the two, which I'll further explain. So this is a nice kind of very simplistic diagram of how um, we have our heart, it pumps blood through our arterial system. And then when we get into the tissue space, there's this narrowing down of blood vessels where um, essentially fluid leaves our um, arteries, which are now in the capillaries. And that fluid that leaves these capillaries becomes interstitial fluid or pre-lymph. And then some, which is actually debated, is returned to the venous system to um, bring back to the heart and to restore um, oxygen um, through the pumping of the heart and the lungs. So that is the intersection. So the um, blood flow in the arteries and the venous return in the veins has to be in a good balance for this um, hydraulic effect of the lymph leaving the capillary space. And I love, you know, books and everything for um, deepening our understanding of anatomy, but what we'll share in some of the pictures that I updated is that, you know, when we learn in an anatomy, arteries are red, veins are blue, lymph is green, but it's way more connected than that and not as um, separate and discrete as we are led to believe. So um, this is just a high level overview of that um, part of our lymphatic system. And then again, this is taken right out of the architecture of human living fascia from Dr. Jean-Claude Gumberto's book. So on the right is actually a lymph vessel within the fascia. And then I'm showing this lymphatic capillary intersection on the um, my left, or if you're looking right out the slides, the left with the green um, capillaries, which um, pick up that lymph that has um, left the capillary space and the, um, the green capillaries are gonna restore um, and bring that lymph to lymph nodes and expose it to our immune system. And also it's a big detoxification space and I'll go deeper into that insight. But the two um, big, um, you know, really the two big actions of the lymphatic system, and there are probably more to be discovered, is it's a detoxification or drainage system, as well as an immune surveillance system. So it's very important when people come to me for recovering from a chronic illness, often they are having trouble with their drainage and detoxification, as well as their immune system. So that's why the lymphatic system gets such um well, we want to make it, you know, you know, the top, um, you know, thing for people to explore if they're still stuck and not getting better. Um, we still have a room to bring that awareness, but one in doubt, start moving lymph in a balanced way and you get movement in the body. So going into a little deeper, I, I love this, um, again, diagram. This is not what a human body looks like, but for the purposes of education, we use it. So that capillary that I shared again, again, the fluid or pre-lymph leaves that space. And then there's a big part of our understanding, especially with biological and bioregulatory medicine that deepens our understanding that when in doubt, we treat the lymph and we know that the extracellular matrix is really the root of where disease begins and also resolves. And so what that means is that cells are swimming in this fluid, right? And not only are cells in this fluid, but they're structural proteins, AKA the fascia, that's collagen, that's gonna be also elastin, that's gonna also be hyaluronic acid. They're immune cells surveying the space, they're mast cells, so all the 
um, histamine intolerance and mast cell activation people out there, you know, you have to look at lymph if you're um, overly sensitive. Um, and there's fibroblasts, which actually regenerate, repair the space. So what's happening is this prey lymph is bringing blood flow, or sorry, bringing oxygen and nutrition to the cell cells. And more importantly, it's removing metabolic waste, but also this is the site of action of where heavy metals start to um, degrade collagen and affect that um, collagen network. And also this is where Lyme and co-infections like to hang out and mold um, and fungi and even parasites. So this is a really important space where we don't want the garbage to be um, not taken out or that creates um, and leads to cellular um, breakdown in cellular communication. So we want that smooth um, flowing lymph to basically be taken up in this lymphatic vessels um, to be exposed to our immune system and also to um, help drain and detoxify this space. And I um, use a lot of Physica Energetics product, uh, products in my practice. I use a lot of different product lines. And one of the things Rob Cass says, um, he says, everything that comes out of the blood takes a somewhat complicated route through the connective tissues to the parenchymal cells. Those are just cells in the matrix and then into the lymphatics. The extracellular matrix regulates the cellular milieu, or that's the environment of the cell. And since the lymphatics are highly intermeshed with the extracellular matrix, we can change the terrain by limb therapies. So that's huge. So by draining stagnant lymph, we can affect epigenetic within the cell, which is actually the key to recovering somebody from chronic illness. So I'll just pause and make sure I'm not talking too fast, but I'm trying. Oh, you're doing great. But I think we had a little like blip. You were just saying something about the epigenetics and I, then you went away for a second. So oh, gosh. Say, say again. My, oh, is my internet okay? It should be. I think it is. It was just a minute. I wanted to, it was just like a, a blip. So what about yeah. these epigenetics again? Yeah. So basically we're draining limbs. We're taking out the trash and the extracellular matrix. We're creating an, an important healthy environment for the cell. And that's a huge part of epigenetic regulation because what the cell is basically doing is dimming up or dimming down genetic expression of proteins. I mean, it's more complicated than that, but right. that, that's the root of health or disease of you know, your DNA expression is you know, moving you towards health or disease. So by draining the lymph, you're creating a healthy environment for cells to be happy and healthy. And that uh, the effect of that is really, um, you know, optimal genetic expression. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes total sense. I just really wanted you to, to express that because so many times we think, oh, something's wrong with my DNA, you know, or, and then a really good practitioner will say, there's nothing wrong with your DNA per se. It's about the environment and the way that it expresses. So it yeah. doesn't mean you're going to get Alzheimer's if you have the genetics that slightly predisposes it to you, et cetera. So I just wanted to put a bunch of exclamation yeah. points around what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. And that could be a whole, I hope you, you probably have a practitioner in your community to talk about genetics at some point. That's a whole other rabbit hole, but yeah. genetics is where it's at. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is just for the people who like to read dense books. This is Dr. Pischinger, who basically um, really fostered and pioneered this thought of a cell cannot be considered by itself without taking its environment into account. And almost every disease starts within the extracellular matrix. Um, you all will get the slides, don't worry. So if you want to deep dive into all of what makes the structure. So we have, this is a picture of, you know, the cell, the cell membrane is that interface between the cellular environment and the extracellular environment. If you study the work of Dr. Bruce Lipton, he will say most of what's happening in the cell is actually through the cell membrane and that trickles down into the nucleus. So that is the interface with the extracellular environment, right? So that makes sense in our conversation here today. And then it's not only this lymphatic fluid, but the extracellular matrix is made up of the fascia, right? The fascia just getting smaller. 
in these uh, collagen proteins as well as proteoglycans. So I'm going to make a point in a minute about these proteoglycans. So proteoglycans are pretty, right? They're these protein cores with these like feathery, like they're called glycosaminoglycans and they're um, they do a lot to help regulate fluid. This is also kind of where metals get stuck and a lot of our environmental exposures kind of screw this process up. So this is just another way to go a little bit deeper into what's happening in this space. So then um, we'll, we'll um, tie into one of the products that I collaborated with Dr. Ruggiero. He's brilliant. And he thought of like, wow, let's, you know, all these people are sick and they have a um, really toxic and dysfunctional, you know, guts, you know, let's use transdermal products. And how do we really get things into the, you know, if we can get, um, affect the nucleus of the cell through the skin, how do we get that to happen, right? And so he paired um, some of the products we'll talk about later with chondroitin sulfate. In chondroitin sulfate, so you'll see essentially there's that protein core that I mentioned. So this is a proteoglycan. And part of this um, is um, chondroitin sulfate. So it's this kind of feathery like unit. And then this is a cool tip that Dr. James Oshman talks about is that um, these you know, chondroitin sulfate, think about it's holding charge. So um, health is a lot of moving electrons around. So don't worry about that. But we talk a lot about grounding. So why does grounding work? Grounding is the connection of your bare feet with mother earth, and you actually get electrons through your feet from the earth. And so what's happening there is when you're in the state of stress and disease, you're running through a lot of electrons because you have a lot of free radicals, a lot of um, oxidative stress that is just going and you know just creating havoc everywhere. So electrons help to make all that stop. I'm again trying to oversimplify, right? So we use up a lot of our electrons. So when we connect with the earth, part of where we have these charge reservoirs are with um, these proteoglycans and chondroitin sulfate. So I thought that was cool. Just another way to look at um, grounding. So for the grounding geeks out there, this is why grounding works. Chondroitin sulfate helps to shuttle things into essentially the extracellular matrix in the lymph if we're going to use them topically. So that was just the point I'm making here. And then the point that I love to make is that we're all interconnected, right? We're more connected than we know um, between each other, within. Um, and this idea, again, Dr. James Oshman, he talks about the living matrix. Dr. Gumbertino was talking about the same thing too, because he said, you know, from the skin to the cell, we're all connected through this fabric. And that's what James is saying. And he's basically saying that, that you know, through the fascial network, you know, within, you know, the lymph is within this, of course, too, that these structural proteins cross over the cell uh, membrane and uh, connect to the cytoskeleton and the microtubulin within the cell. And there's this, just think of this connected fabric from the DNA, the nucleus, the cell hopping over the cell membrane connecting and linking up to the fascia and then, um, you know, basically making its way to the skin. So again, this idea of fabric, right? So we have this fabric of communication and connection that is bi-directional that, um, again, listen to Siobhan and Kelly, they'll, they'll go really deep into that in a couple of weeks. But I, I just, this is, you know, the more I learn about the body and the, learn, the more I learn about life, this is like where it's at. So, um, and then this is again the diagram, and then this is within the body. So just you know, paying homage to that. Amazing. Um, anything? I'll pause there. Anything that you want me to? No, further? no, it's great. It's great. Yeah. As as you continue, we've got some questions about lymphatic and head, and that. Oh yeah, of- we're, we're getting there. We're yeah, getting. I know. There. Yeah, so it's awesome. 
Yeah. So I like to set the stage. That's how my brain works. And so I'm just trying to set the stage before I tell you how to solve it. Um, right. I'm really into quantum physics and, you know, this whole science of spirituality. And the more you understand things, the more you observe things, the more that you can change things. So I like to, no matter if you're a patient, if you're new to this, if you're a practitioner, just having some global awareness of these things and how we're wired allows you to change and work with these concepts. So that's why I like to start here. Um, this is just a really, again, oversimplistic idea. So how this flow. So we're going to be talking about um, a, a flowing lymphatic system is one of the key things to health and stagnation is disease. So we were even talking about this in the 1700s. And so um, this is a big part of my work. So no matter what come, what condition comes into my office, lovely people come into my office, but when a condition comes in, you know, I'm always humbled and honored to, you know, the people come in and what they've been uh, trying to solve for a long time, but we sometimes forget the foundations and the basics, right? And we need that foundational um, basic drainage and detoxification to be happening in the body, no matter what we're trying to address. So the lymphatic system is a huge part of this. So we talked about three solutions and how my brain works is I'm going to give you three headers and lots of solutions within those three headers. So we want to create flow, right? So we are going to activate our lymphatic system. If you see, I didn't mention, but the lymph vessels. Um, so we have the capillaries, they go into vessels. The vessels have um, one um, way valves that move to the heart to help, you know, recirculate the lymph. And so we, it doesn't have the same pump as the circulatory system has. So it's reliant on gravity and movement. So part of one way to help with lymphatic drainage is the rebounder or the vibration plate or creating movement. And especially when we're rebounding, we're using gravity to, um, you know, move up, you know, close the lymph and open and close the lymph and open. So we're basically creating um, a movement within the um, in the lymphatic vessels to get it moving and get recirculated to the heart. So movement, rebounding, vibration plates, dry skin brushing, structured water, that could be a whole other conversation. And again, tune into Siobhan because structured water is also part of the fascial network is delivering the structured water to our tissues. Um, structured water, why I put it here is because it creates um, the properties of structured water. This is also known as exclusions water, exclusions on water, the fourth phase of water. Um, it creates flow in the, in the body. So if you're drinking it or if you're in the sun or in your infrared light or in your um, infrared sauna or you're in front of the UV lamp, if you're living in Seattle and you're needing your vitamin D in the winter, um, that's all structuring the water within you. Um, also just the thermoregulation, we, we produce a lot of infrared just by metabolism. That's why we have structured water in the body. And then Kelly and, um, Kelly introduced us to the flow presso. That's just a, the, that's a piece of a machinery I have in the, my office to help get limb flowing. So breathing, you know, no matter, you know, where you are, like all roads lead to breathing, right? Uh, like breathing, um, will always do right. <laughs> you know, so it helps not only from a spiritual perspective, from a parasympathetic perspective, from just a mindfulness perspective, but also from a limp perspective. And again, um, you can see the contraction and relaxation of the diaphragm. The diaphragm is this um, muscle that helps. It has the big part of the lung um, contraction and relaxation and our breathing. So when you think about our thoracic cavity, I'm going to show you some pictures too. Um, that a lot, a big part of where our lymph drain, drains is in the thoracic duct. And so that if you have, we have these collarbones, right? And on the left side is the thoracic duct. On the right side is the right lymphatic duct. And so when we move our rib cage and are creating more pumping, like pumping is like the same, right? For a lymph. So more pumping through breath and through the movement of our um, diaphragm going up and down, we move lymph. Um, that is basically um, entering into this um, entry point in the termini here. So you could read more about that. 
And then the third thing is really where I work a lot with my patients. So again, we're going to do foundational things with flow. I'm always going to encourage my patients to do breath work, but we're also going to um, identify like why are people, why do they have stagnant lymph in them to begin with? Yes, they can be sedentary. Yes, they could be maybe not breathing, but, you know, unfortunately there are a lot of environmental toxicants, right? So we have heavy metals and glyphosate and atrazine and biotoxins from all these infections and mycotoxins and microplastics and, you know, all these things that are affecting um, our lymphatic system. And then we also have these pathogens that thrive in a toxic terrain. So when we have these buildup of metabolic wastes and toxicants, then we have this virulence factor of these uh, pathogens from Lyme and co-infection to other viruses, to parasites, to mold, to fungi. Um, again, that's a big part of where the, um, you know, these infections lie. And that's why um, you might have swollen lymph nodes, right? If you have a chronic viral infection is because the viral, the um, viral load is, you know, really taxing your lymph system to clear that. Um, trauma, we could do a whole lecture on trauma and how our lymph actually holds trauma. So there is this idea also within the fascia and within the lymphatic system, there is this idea that we see in practice all the time and we always try to put words to of why, um, but the, the body tissue holds memory. So it's not only like our limbic system and our vagus nerve and all these parts of our brain um, or even our biofield, but it's also the, 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 um, the tissues hold memory. So if you've had a traumatic event, um, whether it's an injury, a surgery to a, um, an emotional event, you could be holding that in your body. So if you're doing all the things for toxicants and doing all the things for pathogens and you're not an addressing trauma with a skilled practitioner and not doing that alone, um, you could be um, plateauing where we want you to be. So just take inventory. You know, Are you addressing these things while you're addressing your uh, lymphatic system? So anything from the three solutions that you want to reiterate, Siobhan, or anything that you want to highlight? You're on a roll, girl. You're okay. doing great. Thank you, Siobhan. Thanks. <laughs> so um, Siobhan and I are really big in education. And so we really try to distill a lot of complicated information and make it accessible um, for people to have in their daily life. And so the seven-day lymphatic rehab blueprint was something that I feel like I share with every patient these themes and this um, understanding on how to get their lymphatic system to work. So I try to, you know, my big, what's in my heart is I love seeing patients, but I'm always like, how do we scale this? How do we get this information out and beyond the treatment room? So it's through, you know, these summits and podcasts and these educational resources. And so we um, created this just seven days. You can do it at your own pace. And we thought it would be fun. Siobhan, do you want to go through and look at the yes. course? Yeah, I okay. would like that. So here's what's happening is that I bought this course. Like, I'm just like you. I came to a webinar. I watched Dr. Schaffner present about this course. And it's very affordable, by the way. And we have a discount. And I loved it. And I was like, oh, I wish I'd had this, you know, growing up and my mother and all that. So I asked her if she would share it with us. And of course, um, she was very generous in the pricing. So last time we did this, we did not go inside the course, which is something that I really like to yeah. do because it's not radio, it's show business. That's something we would say on TV all the time. <laughs> HSN. So let's go into the course and take a look at it. Okay, great. So I'm going to stop the share and then I'm going to start it again. I just have to make sure. Perfect. Okay. So, and this is always really fun to create these things. Um, okay. Can you see it? Yes. And I, I see your question. So don't worry, we will get to those. Uh, we, we have a tight timeline, so we're zipping along here. So yes, yeah. this is, this is what I bought. I loved it. So we, again, of course, have a workbook. And then day one, if you want um, to, oh, can I not click on it? Um, and you don't have to do this in seven okay. days by any okay. stretch, but it's it's information for you to do like, you know, you can do it that way. You could do the exercises in one week or on demand, of course, but it's just, it's a format for you to follow if you yeah. want. 
Perfect. Yeah, I was clicking. I didn't know if I could click for a minute. So back in. So day one is just understanding your lymphatic system a little bit more of an overview. And you have the slides and transcripts for everything that we do. And then day two is, um, you know, going deeper into what could be clogging your lymphatic system. I just have that one slide there, but we go deeper into all of this. And then um, Eva, who's um, a dear friend, she's a massage therapist, and she goes through dry skin brushing, like in some really good videos. Um, so that's there. And then day three is Kelly, Kelly. our new friend. Um, Kelly Kennedy talks all about armpits versus arm puffs. And um, we have a whole manual on having to do another um, lymphatic, you know, stimulation for self-care. So we have this whole workbook. Um, so you can, if you're visual, you can, um, well, if you're visual, you can watch the video or look at the <laughs> um, workbook there. And then day four, da, 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 we talk about structured water. So Gina and Bria is a dear friend and an expert on this idea of structured water. And we can go into the views of the living fascia and then talk about um, different uh, recipes to help uh, move your lymph. Um, day five is a yoga and breathwork class that you can live in your library. So you can totally do this more than once. And my dear friend, Katie Straykosh comes to me, uh, comes with us on the retreats that we've been doing. Um, we've known each other for a very long time and she's an amazing um, leader and facilitator of yoga and breath work. And then day six is all about the glymphatic system. I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about the glymphatic system. So just hang tight, but we go deeper in that um, in this, um, um, seven day series. And then day seven dun, 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 is all about the abdomen and, and breast health. Even if you know you don't have breasts, it is important to understand that breasts are part of our lymphatic um, system and it's very important to keep healthy to prevent disease. And then our abdomen, you know, with SIBO and gut inflammation and parasites and all of that, we can have a lot of inflammation and lymph congestion within and behind our lymphatic system or um, behind our intestines. And so that can be a big part of lymphatic. One um, thing I just want to say is no matter what you identify with in terms of a label, everyone has, has breasts. <laughs> okay. yeah. So totally. yeah, totally. Everyone has them. So totally. And then this is just yeah. the workbook, 34 pages um, helps you go through that. So we just wanted to go inside so we could preempt any questions that you may have and just share what that is all about. Um, any questions about that before I finish uh, the lecture? Nope. nope, go ahead. I appreciate you going in there for us right then and there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. So um, great. So the glymphatic system. So this is, again, was only discovered in 2015. So we mentioned how science is always coming up with, um, you know, things a little later as the technology is available and the understanding of the living body versus the, you know, not alive body and leads to a greater depth of understanding. So this is the lymphatic system in our brain. So it's a very important system that uh, the lymph is um, because of the glial cells. Um, so glial dependent lymphatic system and the glial cells here are these astrocytes that are these star shaped um, cells that help to keep the neurons um, healthy um, and also regulate the flow of lymph. And so what happens is in a normal, healthy brain, uh, lymph, um, this, again, this happens when we sleep. So that's why sleep is so important. Our brains actually shrink 60% in size to make room for lymph to drain and to be, um, this is the time where we see the most action of the glymphatic system. So um, blood flows into the brain and along the arteries is this fluid movement um, that is regulated by these end feet of the astrocytes and they move, make sure that the fluid um, moves waste and you know, brings nutrition and then essentially it exits the brain along the veins. So that's what this image is showing. And the image is also showing if you've had a traumatic brain injury that you, if you've injured your brain, you actually can damage the anatomy of um, the 
within the lymphatic system and that and that's why NFL players are more prone to cognitive uh, decline. So that's what the lower image is showing kind of um, a damaged lymphatic system and how that can lead to neurodegeneration. So the brain does shrink, Sharon, as you sleep, and it just, it's like it contracts like a pulse. Yeah. So basically, um, the, I think about it as like the brain is shrinking and then the fluid is like, you know, just moving through this tissue faster than it could be if it was a greater volume. So And they, they say, I, I had the article, I don't know if I did this last time, but the, the economist, I think I did share it with you. Um, they were talking about this lymphatic system and they were talking about how even one night of sleep can increase your one night of good restful sleep can increase your odds of alzheimer's which i thought was really intense yes it's the g before the lymphatic so it's glymphatic because of those how do you say those cells the glial yeah glia. astrocytes are um, part of the family of glial cells so they're not neurons they're part of the immune system in the brain so they're regulating the lymph yeah Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, I know, I think this is like, I see a lot of neurological disease and I don't know why people are still not screaming about the system because it's just so foundational, right? So if the lymphatic system is not working, you know, this leads to a buildup of waste. Here's a theme in the body. We just talked about it with the extracellular um, matrix. So a buildup of waste in the, the uh, space and that can basically harm cells and lead to cell death and a breakdown of communication. And that that's where we get symptoms. So it's not a small thing. So then for the lymphatic system to drain well, so the lymph system is highly interconnected, right? Our whole bodies are. So if we have stagnation in any area, it can affect distant tissues. So when we think about the brain, we really think about the neck. And my friend, Dr. Ruggiero really taught me this because he studied um, with the late um, Dr. Bradstreet that um, the children with autism had a buildup of um, lymph fluid in their brain. Um, and we were, they were hypothesizing that they had a lymphatic um, the lymphatic system wasn't draining as well. And that was part of the symptoms of autism. And so what they also found is if they drain the cervical lymph nodes in the neck and really used lymphatic drainage techniques and different things. Um, and that's where the, one of the creams that we're going to share with you came out of this idea is by um, opening up the cervical lymph nodes, the fluid in the brain drains better. So optimizing the lymphatic system through the drainage in the neck. And so um, this is just an image of the, some of the lymph nodes in our, um, in our neck and how important they are to our brain. So that's that point. And then this is just an overall image of our whole lymphatic system and how um, it's interesting. So our right side is the shaded uh, kind of green that basically from here to mid abdomen and your right arm goes through the right lymphatic duct and the whole entire rest of the body <laughs> goes through the uh, left side. So I think that's always interesting when you that think it's interesting. Yeah. And then um, again, you know, just thinking about where you might be having symptoms and where you might be stuck. And so, of course, we want the whole system to be draining, but I just wanted people to be educated there. Another big part I wanted to show you here is the cisterna chile. This drains the abdomen, and this is part of the um, final exit um, pathway of the lymph into the thoracic duct uh, for basically recycling and recirculating. And so, um, again, abdominal lymphatic congestion from digestive issues, this area could be really stagnant here. Um, so, um, so we're coming into the part where I just want to give you some more insight and solutions. You know, people essentially pay me every day to give them a protocol and help them get better. And so, you know, we find a lot of common themes and one of them is um, limb stagnation as this whole <laughs> conversation is about. And so again, Dr. Ruggiero, who really um, has been a pioneer. And so he's like, has this medical degree and PhD and he um, 
is, you know, a really brilliant pan around virology and the immune system and the lymphatic system and cancer. And he came up with this topical product that has a lot of, you know, great anecdotes in our patient community that it has a couple of key ingredients. So it's a vegan and microbial derived chondroitin sulfate. So it's going to help deliver this fermented probiotic blend that um, these probiotics make a peptide called macrophage activating factor. So the chondroitin sulfate with the probiotics and the, um, the peptide that it produces help to increase exclusion zone water to help um, lymph flow and also to help address the underlying causes of why your lymph is stagnant to begin with. So it helps address infections through this natural you know, mechanism. So then um, it's also liposomal. Um, we found a lot that liposomes help to get things into um, fat loving tissue or cells. Um, and so it's from derived from sunflower. You can either get um, phosphatidylcholine from sunflower or soy. If you're soy sensitive, I just want to share, even though this is sunflower, don't completely be freaked out by soy uh, lecithin because a lot of the times if it's non-GMO, they've taken the protein out that makes you sensitive to it. So just in an FYI, because I get that question a lot. So if you're soy sensitive, you might still be able to tolerate soy lecithin in liposomal products. But again, I know I have patients who are sensitive to everything, so I understand that too. Oh, I added some testimonials. I hadn't looked at this in a while. So I um, I actually, my site collects testimonials and I was like, oh my God, all these wonderful things. I mean, I see, I hear them from patients, but you know, from the larger community. Um, so this product is truly amazing. I can tell the stagnation in my lymph is moving because of this product and moving quickly. It allowed me to cut back on lymphatic massages. That's, yeah. um, that made me really happy. Um, I mean, I love our lymph therapists, but I, you know, I think they're there for a time and a place and to help create movement. But if people have to rely on them, that's where I, I get frustrated. So um, even though this is a little pricey, I'm actually saving money with lymph flow. Highly recommended. I thought it was amazing. That's and then- um, I know, wasn't that sweet? And then this other one, um, I've had the lymphatic stagnation for a couple of years. I noticed it two years ago in my knee. Um, I, I, I wanted this one because look, also in my neck and my armpits have puffs, not pits. That, that was a nod to Kelly. Um, I started using this product about a month ago and I wanted to wait before I did this review. This product is absolutely amazing. The stagnation down by my left knee is almost totally gone. I use it now first thing in the morning. I have collarbones again. My pits are to um, uh, almost totally pits again. Thank you so much. I'm about ready to uh, start my two ounce jar to continue keeping everything flowing. That is um, fantastic. I know, it's not fun. And my dear friend too has this product. I mean, I, I probably gifted it to her at some point. I uh, has this product on her shelf. She had a really swollen lymph node in her neck that she thought she was actually have to go to the doctor and get drained. And she um, used this and it got it, you know, that was just the other day she shared that um, with me that it um, totally uh, shrunk it. So this, again, we, um, we are sharing something that works and that um, we're so excited to share with you today. I wanted to um, ask Clarissa, oh, yeah. the links, can you put the link for the course and the products, Clarissa? So use code Siobhan at Apothecary and we'll put the link there. And um, that gives you 20% off on these, on the products, the physical products. And then the rehab, the course, it's $50 off. So yeah. I can't remember the ultimate price. It's well below $200 then. Yeah, it's under 100. I think it's, yeah, 99 or something. No, I'm no, just... I think it's 140 something. Oh, 147. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Right. I don't even do math well. I know it's not your, <laughs> You just say being a doctor, you do that. <laughs> I'll do this. But anyway, um, so the discounts are really nice. The course is not overly expensive. It's a very special course. And um, you do get the 20% off when you use Siobhan. This is, I just want to make sure that um, we're all on the same page, that it's the Somnium Nighttime GABA Cream, which you're going to talk about, the Lymph Flow. I think we may have added a couple products. Well, we have the uh, Lymph Gemma. The Lymph right. Gemma. Wait. And then the Lymphogem body oil and the Lymphogem lymph oil. Oh yeah, those, I mean, those are in the store. So those are, um, Siobhan, we love Siobhan so much. Whatever you need to move your lymph. Thank you. I, Clarissa, <laughs> God bless you, girl. Okay, good for you. Okay, so I'm gonna just 
take a picture and send that to Mary Agnes so she can tell somebody. Yeah, and then I also, um, you know, I love, you know, Limpagem is a formula I created um, with a, another partner line, and that's a really a great product that you can use, like as a castor oil pack and um, those types of things. Um, today, I'm just highlighting the three products, um, Lymph Flow, Somnium, and then the Lymph Gemo. The Lymph Gemo is a new product. Um, it's a, from plant stem cells that I'll be talking about. But Shabbat and I were talking over the weekend that really the lymph trio, as I call it, is really like, I think the most elegant way to support your lymph if you're looking for products right now. Oh yeah. So tell us about that. So tell us about that. The, cool. the which one? The lymph the, trio? Lymph, the, yes. Tell us, tell us about, do you have any more slides? Yeah, I have more. I don't know what time it is. 12.50. Um, uh, it's 12.50. What? I talk about, you're going to get these slides. So we'll just kind of, yeah. uh, I know people are probably needing to go and stuff. So I just want to share. You're going to come back to this. You're going to understand sleep. The summary of this is not only do we need to know about the lymphatic system and sleep, but we need to know about deep sleep and REM sleep because deep sleep and REM sleep are the time when the lymphatic system is the most active. So N3 or part of non-REM sleep is called delta wave sleep. And then uh, REM sleep is the time that we are often dreaming and we're more metabolically active. That's when the lymphatic system is working more. And then um, Dr. Marco, of course, um, he just is very brilliant in understanding the system. And so not only did we create the solution to drain the lymph out of the neck, but also to get you sleeping. And so again, you can go into this. If you wanna deal with your trauma, you have to have sleep too. I just wanna make sure everyone knows that, um, but I want you to know this, so much happens with your sleep. And then um, there's books that I've been digesting around sleep. And also we need sleep and um, not only deep in REM to process trauma. REM is the only time in our brain that we're completely devoid of adrenaline that are, we're, you know, we don't have cortisol or noradrenaline and going through our brain. So we really need it to kind of do that stress drop. Um, and we know, we know how crummy we feel when we don't sleep. So this is GABA. So if you tried GABA before, I still encourage you to try this. It's a very different experience. And this is transdermal GABA wrapped in a microbial derived chondroitin sulfate. So it can get into the blood brain barrier. And Marco has shown me studies and evidence that yes, it can get into the blood brain barrier through the skin. And I know there's a lot of debate about oral GABA, gabapentin, why that works. It's a drug. It has horrific side effects for some people, but it also works. Um, but it, they figured it out how to get it absorbed into the blood brain barrier through an oral form. There are good oral things out there, but they're just limited, like liposomal GABA, pharma GABA, yeah, I'm not saying you can't use that and they don't work, but this is very unique. And this, I've heard more results with this than any form of GABA I've seen out there. So then I was reading testimonials again. Um, so there, I was sharing one with you, Siobhan, about um, one of our friends um, tried it for the first night I was at the biohacking conference and I just gave her a sample. And she, you know, everyone tests their sleep right now with the aura ring, right? So she was just showing like in one night how significant this was uh, wow. for her sleep. So in, in um, Marco and I have tested with uh, sleep, like when you fall asleep, your um, all phases of sleep, including deep, deep sleep and REM sleep improve. So these just, um, you know, share again, these will be with you. Um, but this, uh, Kelly writes, I was surprised at how effective a little bit of cream could be since I've been using it. I've slept more soundly and deeply, not needing to get up to pee as often and feeling more rest in the morning. Thanks for a great product. Amazing grace. I've been an insomniac following a coma in early childhood. Now 73, this is the first natural help I have found. I like wanted to cry when I read that. Um, and then another one, having great sleeps. Um, still struggling with the full new moons, but much better. Um, and I got to I gotta interrupt you because we're running out of time, my love. Okay. Oh, uh, but I, I wanted to let you know that Mary Agnes and Gina on your team, thank you. They're amazing. They said that no problem if anybody wanted to order even the extra products that we added innocently, but glad that worked out. Um, yeah. You'll still get the 20% off. It's on this sort of lymph 
and the, yeah. the GABA flow, um, the Somnium nighttime GABA cream, uh, it is 20% off when you use Siobhan as the coupon code. The yeah. links are in the chat, but also um, Dr. Schaffner, the uh, one thing I wanted to say about this is that I get pill fatigue because I take all these supplements. Ah, and yeah. so to do something topical and it's a beautiful feel and a little goes a long way. Yep. Thank you. It's just now Dr. Schaffner says to put it in the refrigerator, but if I get something out of sight, out of mind, I don't do well. So no, you don't need it. Marco says, you know, he's so funny. He's like, I like he says, I like to keep it out of the refrigerator because he likes to just test the, the sturdiness of his products. And, you know, it, it's kind of tomato, tomato, whatever you like, okay, whatever you if, like, if, you, if you're in a hot environment, I would put Limplo in the fridge, but if you're not, cause it has some coconut oil in there. Okay. Um, Somnium. I actually like the consistency when it's not in the fridge, to be honest, but these somnium will last you a while. We say three months, but it's actually longer than that because a, literally a little bit goes a long time. So tiny, such yeah, a tiny amount. Like, and I talk about application. So this is just a kind of real time, Marco, looking at, look at the deep, just look at the before and after. I mean, you don't even need to know what it's about. It just looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's basically your deep sleep score and your REM sleep percentage. So we're this wrapping up. This yeah, is great, so this is, um, this is really a fun thing. This has been in my heart for a while. And I met a dear friend, Jennifer Payer. You're going to meet her at Mindshare, um, Siobhan. She's amazing. Okay. So Good. she has this Italian connection to these amazing products that are called plant stem cells. Plant stem cells are picked from the fresh buds and shoots of the plants in springtime. So they have that embryonic, fresh energy with all the potential um, in this part of the plant and then they're lovingly prepared with glycerin and alcohol and a macerat they use all the parts of the plant so they're spagyric so they burn the ash then put it back into the plant formula to add minerals and then they have a lot of intention and love and then I thought well let's make it liposomal to help enhance the absorption so I came up with a liposomal lymph gemmo that has um, five lymph gemotherapies or plant stem cells. Gemo is just the um, French name for plant stem cells that has been passed out. It has nothing to do with gemstones. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I love gemstones, but it's not um, related to that. So sweet chestnut, um, service tree, black currant is actually very adrenal and helps with also mast cells and allergies. Um, and then we're addressing like drainage um, uh, and also liver support and immune support um, in this formula. So, um, and that we you know this is a newer product um, and because of how lovingly prepared they are, um, you know, we have a good amount, but we only have so much before springtime again. Um, and so this is one of the recent testimonials. So uh, this is, you know, somebody in our community. So I love this product. I'm doing a parasite cleanse and many are in my lymphatic system. Uh, I use these drops just before my Beamer. That's just a PEMF, um, home PEMF unit use and it moves to evict them. So grateful to slowly getting my lymph to move again. Thank you so much. I thought that was a fun one. Um, okay. So okay. then I think we just show, there's a video on my site about how to apply it. If you want to get really creative, like that woman did, she put lymph flow, not only in her neck, but also her collarbone and her armpits. I sometimes put it, have people put it over their liver, your kidneys, scars, um, bottoms of your feet sometimes at night to help the whole lymph system drain scars. I've had a lot of um, anecdotes around um, pain, um, restless leg, you know, so just, um, this was just, uh, exploration and, um, other uses. Um, but when in doubt, you just put a little bit of somnium on your temples and right behind your ears, lymph flow at night, a few drops of liposomal lymph gemo, and you can do some education, um, before bed or breath work before bed with the seven day lymphatic rehab blueprint. And there you go. And there you go. So Clarissa can <laughs> codes in again, just because I know we've got a lot going on. Thank you, Dr. Schaffner. Do you have time to answer a couple of questions? Yeah. Okay. Of course. Okay. Thank you. I know you have other patients to see, uh, but uh, I appreciate that. 
I have a heart out in a few minutes, but I wanted to get these really important questions out. Hold on, hold on. So one of the folks has had has done um, the counter strain method for massage, yeah. where it's the you know gentle stretching. And what happened was because she and I have been talking back and forth here because um, I really wanted to get clarity. It was fine during the session, but then afterwards she was in a lot of pain. Yeah, and I, I asked her about it. I'm like, did it hurt during the session? Were you hydrated, etc.? Because that has happened to me before, but it was actually from um, it being so painful that it caused an inflammation response in my body from rolfing, et cetera. Yeah. So yeah. this is a little bit different. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, this happens sometimes. I didn't mention this, but some people, I actually have a patient I'm thinking about just to, you know, happening now that sometimes when you have a lot of stagnation in your fascia and your lymphatic system, and you finally get a great, you know, opportunity to move and drain it, um, you actually can feel worse, you know, before you feel better. And that to me means that there's a significant amount of stagnation. And how do we just slow down and also look at the big picture again and make sure that we're not missing anything to support you pre and post lymphatic drainage. And so what I would do, I think these products are really gentle. If you feel like they resonate with you, I would use them for a few weeks before you approach your counter strain um, appointment again. And then, you know, what I would have you do as well as um, also look into binders. Binders are a really great tool to help to bind a lot of the toxicants that are getting mobilized within the fascia. And then like the lymph finally makes its way to not only the kidneys, but also the liver and the um, bile is a huge ex um, excretion mechanism for metabolic waste and um, toxicants. And so binders um, are in the intestines, binding things in the bile to get out through the stool. So uh, I would do binders before and after your session. I'd make sure you don't have any scars that are really blocking your lymphatic drainage. I would make sure you don't have any dental issues that are also chronically poisoning your lymph, that you don't live in mold, that you don't have any trauma that um, hasn't been addressed and that you support your body this way. And Siobhan's probably done a summit on all those topics. So just look at her library. That's true. <laughs> um, the question is also, are liposomal products safe in general for people with MCAS? So Stephanie, could I use lymph flow if I have MCAS and I'm highly sensitive? I have mycotoxin illness and all my drainage pathways are blocked. Serious liver stagnation, leaky gut, toxicants, pathogens, immune disorders, all stem from mold. I don't seem to tolerate anything in the moment. I've been told to start with tiny, tiny sprinkles of spore-based probiotic. Great. Do you think I would tolerate lymph flow without having a Herx reaction? I can't handle detox of any sort at the moment. I actually think it's a great idea. Yeah, I actually, I have a lot of sensitive patients. So it's, you know, you sound like a, a patient of mine. Um, and I, I pl happily report that these products really do work with sensitive patients. Everyone's individual and there are, you know, some allies, but I, um, I, you know, we have a one ounce as well as a two ounce. So I would start maybe with a one ounce and then just use a little bit to start and then, um, you know, you can apply it to the areas that um, you have stagnation and just start slowly. And and remember to rub your collarbones, right? First, yeah. so it's yeah. the toll booth. You don't want to have a traffic jam when the toll booth is closed. You will have a traffic jam. So this is the yeah. gateway. So that's, thank mm -hmm. you, Kelly Kennedy. Frequent headaches during the night and waking up with them. Does that mean lymph is not flowing well and or brain toxicity? Thanks for your wonderful work. That is Sue. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sue. Thank you. Um, yes, I would say yes. So, um, I have a lot of patients who feel worse in the morning and I actually am thinking of a patient. She, um, it, this is a really wonderful success that she actually, the first two hours, three hours, of, even four hours every morning, she would be in a fog and she's a very brilliant woman. And this just really had to plan her day around it. And she got her mercury out of her mouth. That was a big thing that we did together. And then we really worked on lymph drainage and glymphatic drainage. And she has those hours back in her life. So this is definitely um, an area. That checklist that I just mentioned for that other patient, go through that in your own body. Um, again, Siobhan has a summon on all of these talks. And then I would definitely support your lymphatic system with the addition of binders um, so that you are not um, feeling worse from the movement of lymph. The other thing is um, for those of you with head pain, do you grind your teeth? 
So that's yeah. something I re really, really want to pay attention to. I just got new mouth guards and a lot of my head and cranial pressure has released as a result. Um, this was almost by accident that the dental hygienist looked at my mouth guard and she was like, wait a minute, they're not supposed to be touching back there. I'm like, well, yeah. uh, huh? And it was like so small. She goes, let me go just buff that down. She like went back and like basically took a nail file and buffed it down, obviously in a dentist's office. So she was better than that. But oh my gosh. Oh my yeah. gosh. My head pain like reduced by like 20% from an adjustment on my mouth guard. So please take all of this into account and yes to your somnium and yes to your lymph flow and your lymph gemma and get educated and blah, clear this out. Okay. I've got to keep going. Um, is there a recommended way to move through the trauma that has been stored in your body since childhood? First of all, get the book, the body keeps score and prepare yourself because it is a rocky road. I was like crying in the first five pages, but holy smackers, it's a beautiful, beautiful work that is life-changing. Doctor, doctor, what do you think? Oh yeah. Yeah. It, there's, um, so many modalities to support you in this way. Um, I would see which one resonates with you from, you know, addressing, you know, trauma in your limbic brain to your nervous system, to your fascia and your lymph. Um, there are things like DNRS and the Gupta method and meditation and EMDR and myofascial work and craniosacral work and gifted healers, you know, out there who can, you know, support you also therapists. I mean, talk therapy serves a purpose. It usually doesn't get deep, deep unless people hypnotize you or, you know, get to the unconscious brain, but most of life is actually undoing age one to seven, <laughs> you know, like, or understanding, let's just say understanding. Understanding it, yeah. Yeah, but there's also, um, you know, of course, preconception and all of that as well, but um, I would highly support that idea to explore that. Um, is how is your body affected when lymph nodes are biopsied and then are removed in breast cancer surgery? Also, if tumor is small and like it to be better to not take a node out of biopsy. Yeah, I'm not a cancer doctor. You know, um, I encourage you to um, always seek somebody. I love Dr. Nisha Winters um, and her work in, in the cancer community. And she has a bunch of trained practitioners who are brilliant um, in supporting cancer. Um, but the thought that comes to mind is if you have a scar from the lymphatic node removal, that needs to be supported because there is going to be this island of turbulence and this fascial, um, basically traffic jam that is going to block lymph flow. Um, from just the surgery itself. I can't comment on the cancer aspect. A uh, thyroid nodule related to lymph blockage, question mark? Yeah, a big part of not only is it cervical lymph nodes, but I have people put the lymph flow on their uh, thyroid. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Thomas, oh, sorry, my cue about what about parasites. Is it more important to rid your system of them first or does it go in step with clearing lymphatic system? Secondary, what combination of products have you seen used in the in clearing the two? Yeah, so it's kind of the chicken or the egg, but you can have congested lymph from chronic parasites, but you also need to support your lymph when you're killing parasites. And so um, I I really love cell core products. Um, I have them on my store as well. And Dr. Todd Watson, Dr. J. Davidson made a lot of parasite treatment accessible um, through their para one, two, three, and four. So I use those a lot. I also like BioPure has some suppositories. Nexus is Artemis and garlic. Um, that's really a great suppository as well. And then sometimes you need medical antiparasitics that I do prescribe for when the time is right in my practice. And you can also, we have a masterclass for $59 by Dr. Ann Hill, who's an amazing naturopath. Um, if you email us at info at SIBO SOS, okay. send us. Isn't she great? I haven't met her yet. I need to oh. meet her. What? No. Oh my God. She I to each other all the time. I know. I know. We need to meet one day. Yes. Is the heat, is the products heat sensitive shipping to hot climates? That is. Um, it is stable. We just encourage you if you buy lymph flow, just put it in the fridge right when it comes. Um, and if you want to keep it in the fridge, you can, or if you want to, um, have it out of the fridge for use, just, um, have it in the fridge for about a half an hour and it's fine. Hydrogen water, does it lead to dehydration? Someone said that one of your slides uh, indicated that it did. Isn't it the opposite? Uh, no. 
No, it doesn't. I am sorry. To hydrogen. Right. Yeah, so hydrogen water is um, basically um, an extra hydrogen um, in H2O that helps to basically add electrons to the system to decrease stress. Look at Molecular Hydrogen Institute. Um, it's in Japan and it's um, decades of research in hydrogen water. So cool. Okay, hang in there. I'm coming along here. <laughs> Your next summit, you know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, will the products help with letting go of water weight and menopausal breasts? I'm going through menopause. I cannot wear my usual bras, only sports comfort fit bras. Yeah, I mean, definitely look at your hormones. Um, I encourage you to work with a practitioner who does a Dutch test or a urine hormone test. Dr. Rosenzweig's method, um, the menopause method is a brilliant method and check out that network. Um, but aside from that, absolutely. Um, you can use, um, you know, lymph flow to support you. Uh, thank you for hosting. I have a condition called macrocystic lymphatic malformation in my upper left leg groin area. I took many years for doctors to diagnose. The treatment that was suggested was the injection of doxy into the lymph cyst to destroy cysts. Hmm, neural therapy question mark? That's Siobhan asking. I need few treatments, but not guaranteed to work. I did two treatments by intervention radiologist. Wow. In the past and would like to do more. You've heard of this in Australia where there are not many specialists in the area of lymphatics. Oh, but you do have one, Desiree. Yeah, she's in New Zealand, but she definitely, oh, close, she's close, I mean, closer than America for sure. So um, Desiree Despond, she's the one who created the flow presso. Um, so please look her up. Um, she knows a lot about the lymphatic system, but I would use this as a tool in your toolkit. Um, it's interesting to me, you know, like I'm always thinking like, why is your body doing that? Um, Siobhan mentioned neural therapy, which is this German injection technique that helps you to um, resolve stagnation in the body. And it's more complicated than that, but that can help with the, the lymph. If you're getting nodules, that could be the walling off of toxicity from uh, in your body too. So you could be um, dealing with an upstream stress that is in your mouth or in your gut or um, so forth. So, you know, tend to your terrain, but also... Um, you know, I, I think the, these tools will definitely support you for sure. Um, we're about to wrap up. Erica, I'm not sure what your question was. I can't find it right now. Uh, Maggie's asking, she hardly ever remembers her dreams because we were talking about sleep. Is there any connection with that in the brain? She exercises and eats healthy. Yeah, you know, um, that can be a lot of different issues. You know, um, anecdotally, we talk about there's certain deficiencies, especially B6, and also this idea of pyroluria that um, can affect dreaming. Um, but we do see that people, when they use somnium, their clarity and recall of dreams greatly improves. It's been fun. <laughs> I get <laughs> so much information in the dream world. How many hours of lectures in the lymphatic course? Good question. Each day is about an hour to 90 minutes um, of, you know, content. Plus you get the recipes, et cetera. Yeah. What's the difference between lymph flow and lymph flow body oil? Yeah. So the lymph flow is going to be what we've been talking about. Um, the Lumb Lymphogen body oil is like a, a body oil that my inspiration around that was using kind of like an herbal infused um, castor oil and other oils to apply for the whole body um, to help with lymph drainage. So that's what that is. Okay. Uh, reach out to, what is your website, doctor? Um, Dr. Schaffner. Um, okay. Oh, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Okay. It's Dr. Christine Schaffner, uh, Dr. Okay. Schaffner on Instagram, Dr. Christine Schaffner.com, my clinic's eminencehealth.com, and um, Siobhan has links to the products um, that you can find us that way. Um, okay, I did that one. We are in the home stretch. What order do you treat in? Gut first, lymph first, trauma? Can these all be worked out at the same time, or do you think trauma, limbic system, and MCAS has to be dealt with before any detox? Don't seem to handle binders yet. Too much seems to be immobilized and then reabsorbed, perhaps, so lots of Herx reactions. This is Stephanie, um, who also was talking about the MCAS for the, the products. And do you ship to Canada? That's a double whammy. Yeah, we, we ship to Canada, and we ship international. I have a lot of international patients. So... Um, 
Okay, so I wish I had a magic eight ball for that question, but I don't. Um, but there is, especially via mast cells, stabilizing mast cells do seem to be kind of in the top order of things like mast cells in your nervous system and the field to stabilize you. So you can then, you know, explore, um, you know, more products and more uh, solutions. Topicals are a great way um, to enter a sensitive system. So... Larissa, can you grab the masterclass we have coming up with Dr. Jerry Curatola on Wednesday of next week? Christine is asking questions about silver fillings, and you need to watch this class. It's yeah. awesome. Now, the yeah. one we're doing right now, we will be sent this with Dr. Schaffner. Um, we will send you the replay. We will send you the slides. And Dr. Schaffner, what do you think about Dr. Jerry Curatola? <laughs> Oh, he, he's wonderful. He's a wonderful pioneer in the field of biological dentistry. He knows this stuff um, and he's a, he's a great wealth of knowledge. So tune into that for sure. I yeah. for patients. Um, yeah. All the time. I know. Um, yeah. what, what last question, what binders do you prefer? I love self-wares binders because they are so well tolerated and people can eat food with them, which mm. is like huge. Um, so HMET, um, Biotoxin Binder, Virad Chem, um, Carboxy, those are all great binders. Um, also, um, I do love Chlorella for some people. I do love Zeobind and Modified Citrus Pectin and Charcoal when people need it. Can everybody who's on this call order from your website, from, from Apothecary? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so you, do they have to register as a patient or whatever? Um. Great question. I don't so, think they do. I think it just depends some products. Not, yeah. So there are certain product lines that don't want us to um, sell without a login online. And so that's just for their, their preference. And so don't be intimidated by that. I um, create your account login because if you want to buy like cell core products or things like that, you do need an account login. We have real people who all live in the U.S. helping behind the scenes um, with the um, stores. So when in doubt, just call, like people answer the phone or email and we're happy to help you. So don't worry about that. And um, you can still use the code Siobhan, S-H-I-V-A-N for the um, the products we've been talking about today. And she even just yeah, added, oh, yeah. We, yeah. Know, not for the cell core binders, for example, but for those lymph products and the yeah. Somnium. Um, yeah. So with that being said, I have to let you go. Thank you all so much for being here. I so appreciate it. Please join us for the Fascia and Chronic Pain Rescue Summit coming up October 24th. Please know that Dr. Schaffner is going to be doing a very special training for us on the fascia specifically after that. That is in November. We just planned it. And even though I was like, I'm taking this time off, I was like, no, we have to do this. Because I want to really strike while we're still in 2022, before 2023 comes and becomes even more oppressive that we're not having all this information at our fingertips going into yeah. the new year. Because I think it's very important for our mindset, as well as for our physicality and 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 everything else. So that's coming. Don't even worry about it right now. Just know you'll get the email and all that. Um, but right now, make those decisions and grab the um, course because it's a beautiful, beautiful course. I mean, I... I, I like really legitimately paid for it. <laughs> I went and I, you know, I didn't even know I did it. I wasn't like, I didn't even know. I just was like one of, just like everybody else I was in, I was doing like the, the exercises and everything, learning about the juicing and all that. And it, it's a really great one. So thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks, Larissa, for being here. I know it's been a long day for you. Thank you all. I really appreciate um, the time and, you know, the opportunity to share this information and we're going to be seeing each other soon. So I'll see you soon, Siobhan. Yes, I will see you. I'm going to a conference where Dr. Schaffner is going to be and Christine, I will see you tomorrow. Thursday. I'm coming. Thursday. You're getting there Thursday. I will see you Thursday. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait, we're going to have so much fun. Where's my yeah. dramatic moment. Bye. Thanks, Dr. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, Love you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much. I'll see you later. I appreciate you all being here. I appreciate your interest and in just peer to peer as a fellow patient and person who's working on my health. I just appreciate your effort to show up. I know you have other things to do. I know this is intense. 
um, the transcripts that we'll send you, which are going to give us a week to get those transcripts out because her transcripts are very dense. Um, you can hit like command F and they're searchable on the top of our transcripts. We always give you a tip about how to search. So that should make it very easy for you and very useful. Um, and uh, with that being said, I have to wrap because I have to go take my mom, godmother to the chiropractor. So thanks all. I'll see you soon. Stay in touch. And um, I can't wait till next time already.